Well, since it's the coronavirus pandemic time, I went to Walmart because I had nothing else to do. I bought me this plane, and yes, I stayed six feet apart. It's fine. I bought me this plane for like $10. Basic styrofoam plane. Yeah, I put some A10 Warthog kind of detailing on it because I had nothing else to do. So anyways, I got it, and it flies pretty good. Sometimes. Sometimes this plane will fly good, just like this. Lands pretty good too. There's a little trick you may not know. If you take the horizontal stabilizer off and you flip it around, it goes to a much steeper angle. Oh yeah, see that? That's with it upside down. That's with it regular. So that angle is pretty flat. So it makes for a pretty good flight. But if you turn it upside down, it's a lot steeper. You know what that means. It'll climb faster, but it'll keep climbing until it completely flips over and comes straight back at you. Pretty much like this. Ah! Results in it coming straight back at you and bringing you to your death. So most people know what a plane is, but do they know how it works? There's three main parts. You got your tail, your wings, and your fuselage. And yes, there's tape on it because I threw it into a fan, okay? So that's fine. So start off with the tail here. You got your horizontal stabilizer, which would be in one piece, but threw it into a fan, so it's in it's in two. That's fine. That controls your pitch, so you're not going nose first to the ground, not going up. But that gives you the control for it. If you're flying on an RC plane, you got your elevators and that can control your pitch, but also keep it going straight. Next, we got the rudder here or the tail of the plane. Most people call it fin, but it keeps your tr plane tracking straight. Don't let it move like that. Uh, but it also gives you the control for that too. It can let you Gives you your yaw control, what they call it. Then the wings. The wings, most important part. They have a specific configuration there. That shape you see, the curved top, flat bottom, called an airfoil. It's the thing that makes lift. The higher camber, or the higher arch on the top, the more lift will be produced. And if you have a super heavy plane, you're going to want a lot of lift to pick it up. And, uh, but these keep it from, well, back to this, keep it from rolling, but they also give you the control for that. Ailerons right here, if you pitch one up and the other one down, it'll make more lift on one side, less lift on the other side, and you can spin with it. So, that's how a plane works, and, uh, that's the end of this video, by the way. Like, comment, subscribe, anything good, nothing bad. And peace out, just like this. So, I do my editing myself, and I can do all the stuff myself, but maybe wondering who who comes up with the ideas of the zooming in on the face real quick, you know, and stuff, and all the screaming and stuff and all that. Well, even though I live out in the middle of nowhere, I got a couple neighbors, okay? One of them, her name's Kenley. And she comes down here and she helps me with my videos. Tells me, you know, when to add some stuff, what we need to do. Then we agree on it and we do it, okay? She really likes to hunt, okay? So 
guess what the next video is going to be. We're going to be shooting some pest birds out of this tree right here behind me because they're, you know, attacking our other birds. We're not going to have that. They're going to die. So stay tuned for the next video. So she said she wanted to be in the video. Well, there you are.